<laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. Five eleven in the morning. Uh, I'm up this early because I still got some packing to do, and the movers are coming between eight thirty and nine thirty, I think. So, uh, but, but this is the current situation. <laughs> Yeah, almost everything, well, not quite, yeah. most of the important stuff, <laughs> the heavy stuff is packed up. Um, only got three boxes left. That is recycling, so yeah, I got these three boxes left. Uh, yeah. go ahead and do some packing at least until six then I need to go to the <clears throat> recycling center and find a drop box to drop off like clothes and stuff to donate then come back and see what else I could do put some stuff in my car that I could take myself and then <clears throat> luckily I don't have to have everything out today just the stuff that I want the movers to it's basically um uh, my checkout date isn't until Friday, but Thursday is when the carpet cleaners and the cleaners, I decided to go ahead and just have somebody clean the apartment. Yeah. <clears throat> but they're not going to be cleaning that day. They're just coming to get payment and give me a receipt. And I show the receipts to the apartment people when I do my checkout. And then they're cleaning, like, once I move and stuff. So, Thursday, I'll be able to put more stuff in the car. I'm gonna get a already reserved a rental car. And luckily, I only have to pay like half of what it normally costs because I had enough points with Enterprise <laughs> because I rented so many cars. So, that's a plus. Also, got a hotel room for that night because everything's gonna be gone basically. So, <clears throat> about to do that. Then I will check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, quick update is 6:32. Kind of did a little bit of a change of things. I just boxed one thing, um, one box. And then I went to the recycling center and the fine drop box. The first drop box I went to was you can't even get to the box because there's a whole bunch of stuff in front. I don't know why people be putting furniture out there. It clearly says like clothes and shoes <laughs> but, so I had to find another one so I did find one luckily it wasn't full it was just one box it wasn't full nothing in front of it so yeah. then I went to Starbucks and filled up my tank the tire pressure light came on so I'm gonna have to get some air even though I don't understand because I just got my tires rotated and balanced on Saturday and I haven't driven my car since then because um, I had a rental car Sunday or Monday so. I don't know. let me see what time they open because there's one like right there also stop by the ATM because the cleaning people they only accept either cash or money order and then also want to leave a tip for the mover right they don't open till 8 okay so I probably get there try and get there like 755 ish so that gives me like a little more than an hour i only have two boxes left not that much stuff left but i also want to go ahead and put stuff in my car before it gets too hot little quick update um, i don't know how much stuff i'll be able to fit in my car but like i said i don't have to put everything in there today so i would like to get as much as i can though today but and with you guys later all right now it's 8 52 <laughs> just got a call from the moving company they're on the way but they have to make a stop because one of their lights is out so i'm gonna do that first and get that replaced and then they'll be on their way <sighs> okay just put some stuff in my car <sighs> but i got all of this stuff and this. So, 
there's still something that obviously when I come back Thursday, I'm about to put in the car. But it's like small stuff and some clothes that are on hangers, so that won't be too bad. Probably able to put the clothes in the truck when I come Thursday. And then some stuff I need to throw away. Um, I do need to put the cover on the mattress to protect it. And then I want to cover up that that's on the wall and then my diploma. So should have enough time to do that before they get here. <laughs> but once everything is gone, I'll do like semi-empty apartment tour. So we can see also I want to see <laughs> like exactly how big this room is compared to the other one. So I'm like, well, I feel like this way in my new place is longer, but it's not as wide. That's what I think. But I'm not 100 percent sure. Also, it's overcast. Looks like it could rain. I hope not. But if it's overcast, that means maybe it'd be a little bit cooler than normal. <laughs> Did get air in my car as well. So figure it might as well take make use of my <laughs> washer and dryer while I still got it. So yeah. Okay. I will check in with you guys later. Y'all, yeah, it's 12:18 and they're just now arriving. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. That took way longer than I thought. I don't know if they're still planning to deliver it today or just wait till tomorrow. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it won't take them long to load everything up, but they're probably going to have to unassemble my desk. <laughs> but I don't think that would be too difficult. Uh, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I am stressed. <laughs> okay, I will check in with you guys shortly. All right, it is 2.09 and they finished loading everything that I wanted them to load up. So, it is the empty bedroom, empty living room. Okay. Um, <laughs> Really, it was just one of them doing everything. I don't know what, yeah. <laughs> but, okay, so I guess I can go ahead and get ready to head out <laughs> during the hottest part of the day, basically. <laughs> um, just need to pack the suitcase real quick. And then I'll be on my way, coming back Thursday to clean up the rest of the stuff. So, I, I wanted to see, like, Let's see. Okay. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think about thirteen going that way. And let's see. One, two, three. See you guys when I get to my new apartment. <laughs> All right, 509 at my new place. So, got here actually maybe 440 ish, but I didn't get out of my car. I just pulled into a parking space and looked upon some food to bring me something to eat because I'm hungry. So, yeah, still gotta wait for the movers to. Contact them because we know when they're nearby, I guess. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm just gonna get the stuff out of my car, but before that, let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this new place is longer this way at least the other one was like 13 and maybe a quarter this one was 16 so all right let's see
<laughs> okay. So it's longer, but not as wide. Okay. Also, when I was coming this way, it seemed like it slanted down this way. I can't really tell. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So I was looking online because uh, they have like, I guess, you know, most apartment complexes when you go online, they have a like, picture of an apartment that's set up. <laughs> so I was just looking. And it seems like most of them, they had the couch here on this wall. And then like a dining table over there. Some of them I saw, they had the couch. Like here, it wasn't against the wall, it was up some. So I was also thinking about that. Instead of having it against the wall. That way I could have my desk over there in that corner, next to the window. Put the entertainment center here. And then that could be like a little walkway. But since I have a love seat, I actually might be able to fit it. Fit it here and still put my desk there. And then put the entertainment center right here. And then I'll leave this space right here for like the bookcase. Um, and then I'll have this space. Maybe, I don't know. I guess, and then like the dining table here. Bookcase here and here. Mm -hmm. Um, what's that? I don't know what that is. No. Uh, I hate living on the bottom floors, but whatever. That would just leave this spot right here, like, empty. Because <laughs> uh, even if I get something, I don't think I want it, like, right against the wall. Or I guess I could have... I don't know. Because once they put it, I'm not going to be able to move it myself, so... <laughs> uh, I kind of like the idea of having it here off the wall, desk over there, entertainment center here, bookcase over here, next to the desk. Uh, and a bookcase over here too. Like this small or shelf or whatever. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. some type of dining table and bookcase right there as well because I do need to get it, another bookcase and I have some shelves some metal shelves several metal shelves actually okay I'm about to go get the stuff out of my car and I will check in with you guys later all right it is now 7 15 and the movers are done moving everything in reassemble the stuff that needed to be reassembled some stuff didn't need to be simple because they didn't take it apart. So, they, they did have to like take it apart, and there were slats on the bottom that they took off as well. So, yeah, so I just need to put the stuff on that. That was already together, so they didn't need to take that apart. Uh, so, a lot of stuff they just wrapped up with like a blanket, it does some paper wrap. Right. So I decided to have the couch over there next, right next to the desk because it fit. Then I will probably move that over so. Right. And then TV here. Uh, I do have a shelf back 
there in an empty spot because I do eventually plan to get maybe a table. Originally that was in my room, but I'm gonna put that here and maybe put some of the metal shells next to it for my March display. And then I'm gonna get another shelf and put in here, probably over there in that corner maybe. <laughs> or right here, we'll see. But yeah, I'm about to, mm -hmm. about to head to Walmart and grab a couple of things and then come back, shower, and go to sleep. Xfinity doesn't open until 10. If I would've known it was gonna get here until the time they got here, I would've went earlier. But I wasn't sure they was going to arrive because they didn't send me a message or anything. They just showed up, which is fine. Um, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing tonight because I don't have my internet. So I have a list. I'm not going to get everything on my list because some of this stuff is not mandatory right now. And then uh, I'm going to just be doing like a couple of boxes a day, honestly, probably. Some stuff is going to stay. And Fox, like there's some textbooks that I don't really need, so those will probably stay. And yeah, so I'll probably do like a big box, like one of the big boxes that has like clothes in it. And then a medium and maybe a large or something like that. Some stuff may stay until I get my other shelf, like all my BTS merch, because I have a, I have a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. So, we'll see. But some of the stuff is mixed together. So, yeah. There's some things I think I'm gonna put on Facebook Market. Like, I have an air fryer. I took out the box, but I never used it. So it's basically brand new. So that, on a list somewhere, so that I have a Keurig that I don't use. Either. I use it like maybe once or twice. So it's almost brand new. And then I have a George Foreman grill as well. We'll see. I'm thinking the air fryer, maybe 25. The Keurig is a big one. So maybe 15. And the George Foreman for like maybe 10. And what do people even use those anymore? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but. <sighs> so tomorrow I'll be here basically all day besides going to Xfinity at 10. Otherwise, I'll be here. I also want to check out the laundry facility to see what that's like over. But I'll do that tomorrow because I have lots of time tomorrow. Thursday, I'm picking up my rental car to go back. Luckily, I didn't have any issues with my car. The air worked the whole time. <laughs> it didn't break down. <laughs> so, yay. That is it for right now. Maybe I'll include Thursday and Friday as well. Hopefully I get internet tomorrow because I have a class tomorrow. Tomorrow's when, yeah, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. <laughs> no. um, the other day I tried to see about register for some classes for my new district. They said we should be able to do it on the 6th, but I didn't see how to do that. So. Okay, I will talk with you guys sometime later this week. Alright guys, so it is Wednesday, 11.46. Just got back from running some errands. Whew, I haven't unpacked any boxes yet. Um, <laughs> but I did take some stuff out of my car that was in the truck. There's still some stuff in there, but that stuff was stuff that's been in there since I left the middle school. <laughs> so, <laughs> two years basically. Whew, okay. So last night it stormed. Yeah. But I just got back. Oh, well, first I went to wash my car because there, there was stuff on it. So yeah, I washed my car first, then I went to Xfinity. So got the stuff. So should be able to have internet. I was able to use my phone as a hotspot last night, so I wasn't bored. <laughs> Yeah. Also, with the Starbucks. So, 
got that stuff in there from Whole Foods. First thing I got was from their hot bar thing. So I just got some chicken, mac and cheese, and some yams that I'm about to eat right now. Because I am starving. And then I got a poke bowl. I figured I need some stuff because I didn't bring my microwave with me yet. That's what I'm planning to get tomorrow. But some hard boiled eggs, a couple of bananas, and mango, strawberry, a little snack tray with cheese crackers, celery, and chicken. I guess a chicken salad of some sort. And then just this small little milk, um, some pepper, and then a couple of juices. So I got one of their cold pressed juice, green lemonade, and then I got some Evolution. I've never had this one from Evolution before, Tropical Passion. And then this one I've had lots of times, the Super Fruit Green. go ahead and register for those classes or those online modules that I have to do for my new district yeah, I'm gonna head and do that because they have to be done I think by the 20th I also got me some stuff but oh you know chocolate chip cookie Okay, so I'm about to try and connect this internet. And eat. And unpack like maybe two boxes today and then do online module or two. I also do have a class tonight. So yeah, I will check in with you guys probably either tomorrow or Friday. All right guys, so it's 11.56 on Friday. Just arrived at my old apartment. Um, I'm waiting because, I'm um, waiting because the cleaning people, they said they would call between, I think 12 and 12.30 before they come out this way to receive some payment. So I'm like, I don't know if I can have time to put stuff in my car before then. Um, yeah, but thing <laughs> did not go according to plan. Uh, well, yesterday I had to go back to Xfinity because they didn't have a thing. The power cord for the Wi-Fi box. So, and that place is like 30 minutes away. So yeah, but they gave me one and it's all good to go. Today, I was going to get a rental car, if you remember. So I did a reservation online on Enterprise. I think I did that like either Monday or Tuesday. Thinking nothing of it, I went to Enterprise this morning to go pick up the vehicle. But then it's like, oh, since my address, well, first she's like looking at my license. She's like, um, you're going to need a credit card if you don't live in the area. And I'm like, I do live here. I just haven't updated my license. It's just like, we need two utility bills, which I don't have. I don't have no utility bills because I literally just moved. The only thing I had was like a payment of a starter fee, but she's like, that didn't count. I don't have a pay step from somewhere here because I just moved. So they wouldn't set a lease for some reason, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. Um, or I could have had a credit card, but I don't have a credit card, so gonna use my debit card like I always do and she's like that's a policy but I'm like when I had that problem with my car I went to a different city and they didn't ask for any of that stuff so yeah which I mentioned to her she's like oh it's supposed to be well it's not the same everywhere so yeah uh, then tried hurts uh, because I remember when I was at one of the 
enterprises. Somebody was complaining like, oh, they never have these issues with Hertz. I was like, let me try Hertz. And there was one that was very close to an enterprise that I was already at. So I'm like, okay, let's see. Um, their thing was, since it was the same day reservation, I needed a credit card, which I didn't have. So I ended up just driving my car because I like, it's getting late and I have to be here at a certain time to meet the people so they could get the payment and get the receipt so I can check out tomorrow basically. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm very nervous about my car. It got here just fine. And luckily I'm not going back the same day so maybe that'll make a difference. We'll see tomorrow. Oh, let's see, there's somebody there. Okay, I would check with you guys. All right, update, 2.35. Everything will not fit in my car. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm gonna rent a car for tomorrow. And tomorrow, which is Friday, and put stuff in there, drive and drop it off, come back Saturday. But I'm also already started putting stuff in my car. That's how I know everything's not gonna fit. So, yeah, I'm gonna just have to pack my car as much as I can, and then everything else will have to go in the rental car, which between the two, it should fit. Like, I'm pretty sure everything that I have left will fit in the rental car, and my car is not all the way full, but I don't want to put more stuff in there now since so I'm gonna be at a hotel. I'll put stuff tomorrow morning. Also, it's it's way too hot. Like it's ridiculously hot. Um, so I'm just waiting for the carpet people to come. I'm just I just ordered something from Panera via DoorDash. I did the pick two, so I have something for lunch and dinner. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna come early because uh, Enterprise don't open until eight. I wanna get there as early as I can, so I'm gonna come here like around six. Finish putting stuff in my car. Um, and I'm gonna leave it at Enterprise, I think. Instead of leaving it here and getting a lift, I think I'll leave it at Enterprise because they have a gate that they lock, I'm pretty sure. So it should be okay. That way I don't have to spend money on a lift or anything. A little bit more stuff in my car. And then go to Enterprise and get the rental car, put stuff in there, and then I should be good to go. Also, I will feel more comfortable having my car rest a little bit before I drive it back, just speak on the safe side. And originally I was gonna get a rental car in the first place. It's just that weekend prices are more expensive. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully it won't take too long tomorrow to pack up the rental car and check out and be in my way. I'm probably just gonna take stuff out of the car and not unpack any boxes. <laughs> Yeah, I probably won't unpack anything. Mm -hmm. Friday or Saturday. Maybe not even Sunday. Just rest. Because I don't want to be exhausted from all that driving. And I'm going to have to unpack the cars anyway. So. Yeah. Hmm. I need to. I need to stop and get some more trash bags. And then head back have a class tonight at 6. I have a class tomorrow at 6.30. So tomorrow I have to leave. Like, Well, also, I don't know what time the office is closed. Uh, they either close like at 4 or 5. So I have to be done before then. But it shouldn't take that long. Um, 
So basically, I had to just basically get everything off the floor. The only thing that's still on the floor is that and that. So when the, like right before the people come, I will move that stuff out the way. So. I guess I could have went to the hotel, but then I would have to come back and that's too much dropping, so. So they said I'm have to stop. I'll probably stop by Dollar General. Yeah. Also have some stuff I want to drop at a donation box. So I may also do that today as well. hotel that I chose does have free Wi-Fi and I believe free breakfast because I always make sure they have that whenever I'm booking a hotel. <laughs> but, might as well. Uh, but also since I have a class. But I guess I could have used my phone as a hotspot. But being the safe side, Wi-Fi is a must. Uh, yeah. I'm so stressed. This moving is stressful and expensive. That's what I learned. <laughs> because before I didn't have all of this. Like I didn't have a whole, an apartment to myself. So, yeah. Like I moved into this apartment from the barracks when I was in Army, so I didn't have stuff, really. And I didn't have to pay for moving, the Army did that. But I'm planning to stay in my place, my new place, for like five years. So, now I know what to expect, a future move. Although hopefully I'll be moving into a house after that, hopefully. Who knows? Okay. I will check in with you guys sometime later. I don't know, maybe I'll show you guys the hotel this evening and then the last little bit I have to do tomorrow. I will talk with you guys later. Okay, it is 5.21. I'm at the hotel. I'm exhausted, <laughs> but my class is about to start in like 30 minutes. Uh, though I guess luckily it's from 6 to 8 and at like 6.30 to 8 or 7 to 9 or 8 to 10. But yeah, small hotel room, but good enough for me <laughs> yeah and went ahead and stopped by dollar general get some trash bag a gatorade because i'm from a very dehydrated water it's just like yeah and after my class i'm gonna take a shower and go to sleep probably it's like i said i'm exhausted uh, the air looks not though so after my class, I take a shower and go to sleep because I'm exhausted. And that's basically it. Um, oh, the carpet people came. He like asked me how long have I lived there, and it's like seven years. And it's like, oh, it's not gonna be a clean. It's gonna be a replacement, which I won't be charged for because they replace it like every five years or something like that. So I'm like, why didn't the person when I went to do my lease termination? Why didn't she even ask me that question? Like. I feel like something fishy going on with that. Cause I was thinking to myself, like, are they even going to clean the carpet or are they just gonna replace it? Like I was thinking that because I feel like most of the time you see, I see the carpets getting replaced when people be moving out. So yeah. So that's like $90 get to save. Um, I decided to change thing up. I'm gonna leave my car at the apartment place because I want to fill the rental car with as much stuff as I can and then put whatever in my car. So, yeah. So I will end up having to get a lift tomorrow, but that's fine. Um, my car would not start when I was getting ready to leave <laughs> my apartment and it was super hot. Like, 
oh my god and even when i waited 10 minutes and tried it again it wouldn't start so i waited like another five minutes then it didn't start but it was too hot for that and then earlier today there were a couple times when i tried to start my car it didn't start but i tried immediately again and it did start so no I don't know, my car just wants to do with whatever it wants to do, I guess. But yeah. Okay, I will talk with you guys sometime tomorrow. Maybe see if I can take like a power nap or something. Yeah, until tomorrow. All right, guys, it is 11.43 on Friday and I am done. I just need to go to the front office and have them check me out. Whew, but. <laughs> It took longer than I thought it would, but yeah. Everything is gone. Good to go. And don't have to worry about cleaning or anything. Because I paid for that. So. Uh, most of the stuff is in the rental car, but there are still some things in my car. Mostly in the truck. The stuff that's in inside the car I like cleaning stuff so i feel comfortable leaving that i took the boxes that were in there and put them in a rental car so yeah. all right and i need to go to the post office i need to go back to the post office because i closed my peel box didn't realize there were two keys the other key was still here so i need to go take the other key back and then I need to stop by Best Buy to recycle electronic device. Then I'll be on my way to Atlanta. And I think when I get there, I'm gonna just take the stuff that's inside the car out. Like in this, inside the part where you sit, <laughs> I'm gonna take that stuff out. The stuff in the trunk, I will get later this evening. When it's like cooler, or I'll get up extra early in the morning to take it out depending on the weather, because it might rain. Um, and I have a class tonight, 6.30 to 8.30, so, yeah. And then coming back tomorrow to return the rental car, and then get my car and drive back home. <sighs> yes, okay. But that is gonna be it for this vlog, I think. Um, like I said, I'm probably not going to unpack this weekend, I'm just rest <laughs> and then start on Monday maybe, maybe Sunday, we'll see. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.